I don't believe in superheroes. Nobody is invincible. We all melt at a certain temperature and crack under pressure. So no, I don't believe in superheroes. Meaning for now, I simply have myself. An immaculate conception. Talented yet foiled sense of misdirection. I don't see dead people. I hear emptied souls sang through songs with notes of no hope as interjections. I don't believe in kryptonite. To kill this life, there need be no injection because I don't believe in superheroes. I was born normal. Son to men and women with two sets of hands already full so there wasn't a free limb to move mountains. Just one man's mouth to move three little men. So I convinced myself at an early age, yo, but get Superman. He ain't even half as amazing as my dad, so I'll just believe in him. Sure, you can fly to save fallen babies from burning buildings or stop a bank robbery by turning back the time. But when he held you in his arms, time? Didn't seem to matter so much. So I packed a brown bag for lunch. Cause as far as superheroes went, they didn't outfit a custom tin to showcase mine. I could always catch my superhero at the same dad place, at the same dad time. I scroll back and quickly rewind, find him comfortably reclined. My soft chested, rough handed pops with feet propped, my Bruce Banner fighting off the Hulk inside. Nodding off and trying not to relapse and flash back to dreams, transformations to fatigues of green sea. He fought in Vietnam. So don't need comic books to show me how war looks or what it means. At 28, I simply need confessions that he rarely dreams. Wishes to revert, remix, and relive jungles through the eyes with which daredevil sees. So when I say I don't believe in superheroes, perhaps you can begin to understand what I mean. I mean, life isn't always fantastic. So as a kid, I'd waste time and money tugging at limbs of hers and him's wrapped in plastic. I'd just wrap my eyes and ears around the stories of my dad and asked him, Dad, do you believe in superheroes? He said, sure, mijito, I believe in you. I believe in your sheer excellence and can only imagine what you'll do. I said, well then, Dad, wouldn't that make you a superhero too? He said, no, mijito. Sometimes our powers leave us when they're through. Strength only comes to those that need it, and I pass mine along to you. I said, really, Dad? Then what is it that we do? He said, out of broken pieces, we fashion stability. Selflessly for others, we create infinite possibilities, but last and not least, we always practice complete humility. It was then when I began to believe Realizing the superhero stuff didn't need to come with a cape and wings. And about being a superhero, well, I learned the very first thing. I didn't have to believe in superheroes. That I was a superhero if one believed in me.